Wow, there are so many ingredients here that look familiar to me, but some that look really weird as well. I can't wait to see what Malcolm has up his sleeve for his idea of Pad Thai. So I'm going to draw inspiration from making it into a salad. So I'm going to run through the ingredients. I'm going to make a tamarind tauchu foam. Okay, so what we have here is a okay. tauchu. Yes. Okay. Then we have some palm sugar, mm -hmm. and then tamarind paste, and this one here, which is a soya lecithin. And what it does is just to stabilize it to make foam. So we're just going to add here a bottled water inside. So I'm going to put palm sugar inside, some tauchu inside here. And then I'm going to add in all the tamarind. Okay, so the lecithin is going to go inside. Okay, and that will help create that foam and stabilize everything. We're going to blend this up. Huh? Um, not every home has a, a hand blender. If you don't want to have, have one at home, you can use a whisk. Okay, so we're just going to take this off the heat. And we're just going to gently pulse it. So it bubbles up really quickly. Yep. If there was no lecithin inside here, these bubbles won't stay, they'll just disappear. Oh, okay. And that's our uh, foam that we have there. We have some tiger prawns here. And then we have Actifa TG. So it's a, it's a meat binder, essentially. So I'm going to bind the, the prawns together. So if you could help me, Sarah, just pass me that cling film. Because we'll need the cling film to compact everything together. Okay, so we're just going to cut off a bit of cling film. Layer the prawns down in one line. Okay, it doesn't really matter if they're not sticking so tightly together because the cling film will compress everything later okay. on. So I'm going to take the Activa TG and I'm going to sprinkle it all over the surface of the prawns. Quite simply, just secure everything together and push everything. Okay. This will have to set in the chiller for an, at least an hour. And the final product will be like that. Oh, it's so neat. So that's it. Yeah, it's a little uh, combined prawns. So we'll open it up. Wow. Like Can't really see much of the layers. Or the prawn, that's the meat glue doing its work. Wow, that's crazy. It's just a block <laughs> of prawn. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to pan fry this separately, okay. okay? So just preheat the pan a bit. Okay, so what we have here is a uh, crustacean oil. So I'm going to take the oil here and heat it up inside this preheated pan. And then slowly you have that very gentle aroma from the prawn shells, having that nice prawn smell. Mm. Okay, the prawns are going to go inside now. So this is really double prawn flavor, right? Double here. prawn flavor. Okay, so we're going to do a gentle heat now and you'll start seeing that nice colour changing from opaque to a nice orange colour. You smell that crustacean aroma, yeah? So flip this over, turn around. Okay, so a nice light That's golden so colour. That's so pretty. So now we're going to move on to the Pad Thai salad. Now what we have here is just a light crustacean stock which we're going to blanch our glass noodles in. But first I'm going to start frying some of the aromatics. Again, some oil. Okay, and then I'm going to start putting these mushrooms inside. Now while they're frying, I'm going to chop up some uh, dried shrimp. And these are going to go inside the pan. Okay, so all these shrimps, we're going to toss it around. I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay, and start adding the aromatics inside. This is the salted fish. Wow, just a little bit though, right? Just a little bit, yeah. Toss all that around. You wouldn't believe the amazing smells coming from the pan, coming from the kaffir lime leaves. I can't wait to try the salad. Yeah, so that kaffir lime is going to go inside. And this is all off the heat. All off the heat, yep. The board is starting to simmer now, mm -hmm. so we add in the pad thai noodles. So let that boil and cook for around three minutes. Now, you used uh, the, um, Chinese the, chai, the Chinese chives, correct? I'm using Western-style chives. Mm -hmm. They're a bit more delicate in flavour. Mm -hmm. So we have the chives, and then all this lovely um, mushrooms, salted fish, and that kaffir really lime. That smell good. Put inside the bowl. Okay, so we're going to add in the green pea sprouts inside here. And the last thing we're going to put inside the salad is uh, just some raw shallots. Mm -hmm. And by the time we slice our shallots, hopefully our noodles will be just done. They're boiling away. I think they're nearly done. All right. I just give this a toss. Almost done. So I'm going to turn up the heat now. Put inside this pot. So now, it's, in order for it not to stick, I'm going to add a bit more of that crustacean oil. Just give it a toss. And just for a touch of a umami flavour, I'm going to add in just a bit of fish sauce. Mm. Just a bit. Um, for the coriander, I'm just going to put inside just to wilt it down. Wow. Okay, so to bring this dish together, mm -hmm. I'll put the noodles down first. So I'm just going to layer this down over here. All this nice stuff, we're going to scoop this up and then place it on top. Some red radish. Celery leaves, which will just give a nice perfume. And then we have just some basil oil over here we made earlier on. So we're just going to just dot this around. I'm going to put this prawn just on the side over here. And to finish this dish off now, I'm just going to add this lovely foam we have. Nice amount. Oh, you can smell the tauchu in there. Yeah. Just let it sit there like a little cloud. This is just about the prettiest version of Pad Thai anyone <laughs> has ever come up with. 
it's almost a world away from the street stall where they have the fire burning and everything flying around. I'm so intrigued by what I see on your plate. Well, I also hope that you like my take on the Pad Thai. Well, I'm just gonna dig right in. Mmm, you really get that shrimp flavour in there, but it's still really light and fresh. Yep. I'm gonna try a bit of the prawn just okay. to get the full picture. Mmm. You know, all the flavours really bring me back to Thailand and our time in Bangkok. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed that dish, Sarah. <laughs>